School board is expected to discuss a proposal which would cap each elementary school at 600 students. That would mean directing some students to lower enrolled schools. Now, the school district, like others in the state, is grappling with declining birth rates and trying to figure out how to best serve fewer students. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Spencer. And I'm Karen Lee. Tonight, Rick Sounder explains how some are concerned that this proposal may actually contribute to declining enrollment. The elementary school your child attends can make a big difference in their life. Now, Denver Public Schools is considering changing boundaries and putting caps on enrollment at the most popular schools. There could be roughly 700 families that now no longer get into one of their choice schools that would have in the past. Brian Eschbacher is a former executive director of Planning and Choice for DPS. He feels by putting enrollment caps on the most popular schools, it will lead to further segregation. By reducing the amount of choice into these schools, it could actually segregate them more because now low-income students would not be able to choice in. The school board is studying two proposals that would direct the superintendent to examine the school attendance boundaries every four years. Choti Gaitan is the board president. Looking at some of the root causes of the inequities of um, gentrification, the root causes of discrimination, uh, segregation uh, within this system. DPS is trying to determine if capping enrollment at the most popular schools will channel students into those who are losing them. At the end of the day, you either listen to families and give them the schools that they want, or you restrict access to the schools they want and hope they're gonna go along to another school. Later this month, the school board will have a session for community feedback. If the proposals eventually pass, they could take effect as early as next school year. Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. And we have been following the different issues facing the state's largest school district as it returns to school, including safety concerns and school resource officers. You can see all of our stories at cbscolorado.com.